Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, Microsoft has done something that is, I think, a good idea. They should do it a lot more often than that. Microsoft has finally updated the version of Windows 11 that you download when you use the media creation tool in their website. So I would guess that if the media creation tool does have the latest, uh, I would guess if you download the disk image also, it should be the latest. Uh, so Microsoft did say that what you will get with the media creation tool here is the June 2025 version of the Windows 11 24H2. So that means no updates of, you know, tons and tons of cumulative updates to get up to here. No big download to get up to here. You'll have the image that is already very, very close to what we are now. So basically... If you have had this image or if you downloaded an image or created a media with Windows 11 using the media creation tool, you could actually update that media, recreate it with the latest version, which will contain the June 2025 updates. So that means that you're starting with a pretty fresh, pretty new version of Windows 11 now when you download the image. And I would guess, once again, that the image here probably follows that also. So this is a pretty good idea. Microsoft should do this, honestly, every month. It doesn't take time for them to compile those. They should actually do this every month, personally. So, or at least every three months or something like that, because now we didn't have any update of 24H2 image since the official release last fall. So uh, update your your... your bootable USB thumb drive, update your images, and you'll know that you have the latest, uh, the link to the download of Windows 11 through the Microsoft webpage is in the description below. And uh, this is going to be a better option than installing the old image. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.